Hello, beautiful people. Hope to you all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. So in this day, we are going to cover the topic of palindrome in C++. First of all, let's review the basic definition of palindrome. A palindrome, a word, phrase, or sequence that reads the same backwards as forwards. For example, madam. Because if we read madam oppositely, then we'll get the same result. Let's move towards the C++ program to make this on Visual Studio. Let's remove the previous program. All right, the hash include preprocessor directive. IOStream is the header file which contains the input output functions and the using namespace std. And here is the main function. System is our return statement. First of all, I will make a data type vector with variable, let's say value of size 20 and terminate it with semicolon and print message for the user enter vectors. So what that is, spelling dot matter, okay. Another variable length to store the size of value uh, to store the size of value and then the loop will run uh, up to this size uh, so let's initialize it and store the size of uh, this character uh, or string in the length by using the user uh, predefined function string length which uh, measures the uh, size of string and in the uh, parameters place uh, we will put the variable value so we got the size of value okay okay and then we will run the loop that will run up to the size uh, mean in the up to the size of uh, the value of the string and a condition which will test that uh, which will read the string both forward and from the backward condition as well uh, and if the both forward and back and back uh, what condition matches uh, then uh, we will say it is palindrome and if uh, um, these both uh, forward and uh, forward and backward results are different then we will say it is not palindrome so let's complete this if else if condition value this value array with i reading from the uh, forward direction forward this is the condition i'm going to write this is reading from backward it's taking the whole size and running it in the backward direction uh, so we will use the flag condition here flag is equal to zero and terminates if uh, the forward and backward does not match then flag will become one and condition will break go if uh, flag remains zero then string is telling row else if flag is one then it will say is not drone.
There we go. Remove this. So now let's run the program. Uh, I will write madam uh, as uh, I wrote in the slide. So let's write madam. So it should say that string is palindrome. Let's enter. Yes. Oh. Oh. Why you're saying, bro? Okay, okay, take it easy. Oh, I forgot to write I here. Instead, I wrote one. So now if we, I write madam, I will get the result string is palindrome. String is palindrome. And if I write do dev done, obviously it is not palindrome. So it should say string is not palindrome. Do dev done is not palindrome so here we go so now let, let's move towards our slides to be more clear in our concept uh, string length uh, which uh, the uh, predefined function we used here uh, like here is a user defined function uh, which takes a null terminated byte string str as its argument and uh, like <coughs> like sorry <coughs> like uh, the argument we took here value it takes the argument uh, and return its length like it is returning its length here and we are saving in to the third variable name length uh, so next this condition uh, this I t as I told you you can say value change it to value to be more clear <laughs> so as I told you, this is reading from start, the string, and this condition is reading from the end. So here we go. Hope so. You, it clears your concept. If you have any query and suggestion, do write in comment section. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. And in the end, if you uh, want to test your knowledge of C++, you can download this C++ programming quiz app. Is, uh, and the other, other is for Java student to ch check their knowledge of C, uh, Java, obviously. Uh, these both are glowingly suggested by me. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Like always, peace.